When building the indexer, there are very specific parts that are needed. So we're gonna use the two 11 hole one by ones that we have, the 13 hole C channel, two small bearings, the same bearings we use on the drive base, two lock bars, a 2.5 inch cap shaft. This can also be substituted for a longer shaft and another collar, a 1.5 inch standoff, a one inch standoff, two washers, a one spacer, a two spacer, two three spacers, and a four spacer. Two one fourth inch screws, two caps nuts, two lock nuts, two three fourths inch screws, a collar, a uh, insert, a motor, and a fork motor insert. The first thing that we're going to use are the two small bearings. You're going to clip them in together, so that's how they should be used. You're going to place them on the second hole back on the inside. You're gonna take these two, you're gonna these two three fourths inch uh, screws, uh, motor cap, you're gonna screw them in nicely. Once this is done, we can take this piece and put it to the side with the two 11s we have here. Two lock bars, two of these, these. We're going to take the two threes. So first thing you're going to take a screw head here, put this here, the calf's nuts. Last hole. Screw that directly. You're going to take a lock bar. Stick these two in. So, then you take this, you take a three, and another three. Then you take a, the, your other uh, 11 hole C channel, put that on top, and you take a lock bar, put that on top. And then you take the two lock nuts here. Finally, you take your half shaft, stick it through, and you tighten this. and this should be able to go nicely in, as you can see here. So the cap shaft goes in the side with the lock nuts. After that, two washers first, because you don't want them hitting the middle. Two washers, and a one. And then you're gonna take this assembly and put it to the side. I'm gonna bring this back. I'm going to take a one inch screw, screw, screw that on, screw that on to this hole here. All right, now we're going to take the motor insert. We're going to take the insert here, and we're going to put that inside of the capped motor. Then you're going to put that into the motor. We're going to take the zip tie holder here. As you can see, small zip tie with two other big ones. We're going to put this on like so. And this is going to nicely catch on in here. As you can see, this holds in the motor very well. The one last thing we're going to do is we're going to take this 1.5 inch standoff. I'm going to attach it one hole back from here. So as you can see, it's like this. Take a wrench, tighten that. I'm going to take the one inch over here. It's going to go in the six hole, facing inwards. All right, so it should look something like this. These two here, these two here. I'm going to now take the other part of the assembly Stick this in nicely here. Now, you have a choice. If you use the 2.5 inch capped shaft, then you're going to need to put a two spacer on the top, like so. If you use a shorter one, then you will not need to do that. Yeah. And if the shaft is not capped, you can just put a collar there. This goes in nicely, but we need one more thing. Take the collar. Slip in here. And finally, push down here. Use the collar. Tighten. It's completed. You can bring back your assembly. And this is going to be placed nicely on this side over here. It's two. 3 8 inch screws and two ones. The 
piece will screw in on this side over here. Finally, take a one spacer here, and we want to slide it in between here. So, to connect the one inch stand. Take a three eighths inch screw, slide it in nicely. And that is the completion of the indexer with the flywheel. All right, so now for the small last minute touches, we have the two side plates on the side to keep these ordered. For this, you're going to need two three fourths inch screws and two half inch spacers. First one, these two go directly in the two middle ones. They don't go in the last ones, they go in the two middle ones. You're gonna turn it around and put the two fours on. Then you push it all the way up against the, the channel and it should go like this. It should be flat against here, it should be on the bottom two holes. And then you get two catch nuts. Now this final one, two one inch standoffs and two ones here. And take three eighths inch screws here. Take you place the ones on them. And you take the standoffs. And you screw the standoffs on. Finally, take it from the other side. Once this assembly is complete, like before, you push it all the way up against and screw them into the side joints with one fourth inch screws. So, here you go.